the, 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 the modern way yes. of mortuary. Yes. Of mortician. Yes. How do they call mortician in Kamba community? Akura. Uh, Akuna Jinao. Mm. Or there, what do the elders? Anything? The, the modern now, the modern like. Oh, the modern uh, day. Oh. Like Sai Wewe Sasa. Oh. To Kisha Toka Kotradijo to make the Sasa Wewe. To go era yet to Sasa. Era yet to Sasa. Mm. Era yet to? Mm. Ah. Oh, Mondo. Mondo Amochari. Mondo Amochari. Yeah. 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 Mondo Amochari. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Now, what is the belief in a view? Mm about this mode of mochari in Kamba community? Uh, in Kamba community, uh, our pain is sana, I can mm. tell you. <laughs> <laughs> they are representative uh, of uh, of uh, death. Mm. And they handle the dead dead people. Mm. Yeah, so uh, they are not uh, very people who are seen uh, or welcomed very much friendly. Uh-huh. In fact, we can say mortician. Kuna vile, kando la sema tia rafiki yako ni mortician. Tazala tuende nae nyumbani. Hadi niku introduce ni mkuja function yetu ya tui jamaa mortician. Na sike marafiki zaka ni watu wa mochari. Humu utu wata sani yaka apewe. Hama wana sikia, ile sani ya nagulia. Imakiwe, mwenye unasafu. Uu jamaa kikula sani ya chora hapa le chini hivi. Kujua, akitoka hapo. Vile ya metoka kwa gay tv tu sani yake ina tuba wa mbali sana. Ya, so... That is the view. So what we are So there are very few professions. What we are mochari. Walau ana juli kana. Ne don orang adu mutu mochari mutu a. Kuvuta banki pa. Walau tovuta banki tu na bwana tato tovuta kazi mochari. Maybe akafanya ko. Adavuta banki na license vizuri. So it does the view of mortician. Yeah, mortician. I don't know any. So so mortician. In fact, when I came to Nairobi, I think. Because I worked in Nairobi Hospital, it's my first job. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's my first job uh, in working in Nairobi Hospital. So at least Niliona, I'm a mortician. I'm by Lukwa Mukamba. Hapo, Lukwa Nafanya Kazi Hapo. And maybe that is the advantage of working in hospital. Ni kawaza kumuona. Mm-hmm. That was the first person in Niliona. Life, life, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. The second one after Nisha Toka Uko was you. Mm-hmm. So they are not very common <laughs> because they are not liked. It's not a job many people like. Uh, yeah, but uh, it's a good job. So, so it's is 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 an isolated job. Very isolated. No one wanna a mochari. Niko shoko na mabudo kwa jamaa na fanya job ya mochari. Rejection. Lakini yao hizi sema u jamaa. Hmm. Hizi sema. Hmm. Niko kuna jamaa ingine na juu alikuanga watchman Nairobi. Hmm. Eh, Papa Sharando la tuvi lewa na fanya. Eh. Aki hivika nyumbani ni suit na tie my friend. Jamaa hizi jua kama ni wachi. So mamotisha ni wako ni kushua. Lakini wamejificha uko ama anajita daktari pale. Hawataki kujulika na wana deal na maiti. Maiti. Yeah. Na kuna kuna swali hapa pia ningependa kunieleze. Kuna hii design maybe do you believe? Mhm. Ini urogi juu watu hapa tunasamanga ukambani sasa ukitaka kuona umombe urogi kukambani. So mtu akirogwa. Mhm. What is the process? Ama inakuanga tu ni myths and... Uh, no, urogi hiko, mm-hmm. na ni ukweli, that's a real thing. Mm-hmm. Because hata bibilia miongelelea about uh, those who practice uh, witchcraft. Mm-hmm. Iko tu. Mm-hmm. Witchcraft hiko, and it exists. And uh, the community, apart from being a belief, it's a real thing in the community. Mm-hmm. <coughs> and I think in many other communities. Kwa zungu wanita think voodoo na vitu zingine. Mm-hmm. So, uh, it used to work. And it works uh, for those who want to work for them in a particular way. Since wale wa imani, mm-hmm. we walk by faith. You now ile the Christian faith. Iyo ndiyo tuseme ni kama witchcraft yetu sasa in terms of Christianity. But, there is a lot of linkage even in the modern day life of uh, Kambas and uh, witchcraft. And I really want to believe. In fact, uh, as I was speaking to Mze Mungine and I appear my dad, when the priests, they wanted to cleanse people, walikuwa nafanyua ito muma, mume, maybe mulianganya mutu shamba, ama mulifanyia mutu kitumbaya, then wana Muma ni kama watu wana spell, ni kama spell, bad spell to you. Walikuwa watu wana chukua nyungu, a pot. 
ya clay inagunganishwa chini mm-hmm. na mnaambiwa maneno mabaya msiwei fanyika hivi na hivi uone ni nini maybe mlifanya watu vibaya ama maybe mlio mtu wao then mnafanyikia kitu so mnakuwa kuna bad homen kwa the side yenu maybe na involve back at death so ulikuwa unapata hiyo kitu kutolewa kama saa hii even in church especially like in a home place the catholic church is very dominant wana priest kuna zile vitu kwa natumia muta miti ni kuna miti inaitwa muta ya kuosha mtu ya kupiga bad spell na hizo vitu kama hizo hata kama ulikuwa umerogwa sasa kuna vile unapigwa na hiyo majani inatoa hiyo bad spell which was also linked to witchcraft because kama umerogwa mm-hmm. kuna wile wa kutoa urogi so kulikuwa na mundo mwe mm-hmm. mundo mwe ni mtu wa ni kama prophet ni kamba na ilikuwa ni mtu wa kuona umerogwa anataka kukutoa hiyo urogi so ilikuwa ni mtu wa kukutibu so kuna wale wana roga which are the bad people people are jealous they don't want you to succeed unaona mm-hmm. then kuna mwenye wa kutoa hiyo urogi ambao itwa mundo mwe sasa watu wanaenda sasa kama ni kitu yuko wanaenda wanaenda kutolewa ama ku guard biashara zao against the witches yes mm-hmm. so kuna those two categories so witchcraft iko na ulikuwa na roga mtu anaweza kufa yeah so there are so many people who believe they have died because wa merogo wamefanywa kitu kama hiyo Mm. Mm. Na sasa for example ukiroga and then wazee waseme huyu aliroga lazima walikuwa na ile like tumfanyie tambiko tujue nani ile mroga vitu kama hiyo Yeah 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 in fact uh, when um, mtu ame kufa because they believe alikuwa amerogwa mm. walikuwa na believe huyu mtu aje kufa spirit yake bado iko um, within the village or living somewhere mm-hmm. because ame kufa before his time to of death ifike mm-hmm. so ulikuwa unapata ule ile siku unataka kushika ule mtu um, maybe amemroga na kushika kitu kama hiyo wanangoja ile siku amemzika wana, wana kuna watu wana guard hiyo grave wanaangalia kutoka mbali wange okay hapo wanakaa mbali wanaangalia wako ridho hmm. so ile mtu alimuroga alikuwa na make sure amekuja pia yeye ako na nyinyi mkimon si ame achieve goal yake hmm. sasa anaita the person to live on the top of the grave so some people used to believe that they used to see the person ambaye alikuwa amerogwa amekufa in fact they used to believe uh, they believe that they used to recover people kwa alikuwa amerogwa amekufa jivu wewe utaendelea ku coexist una kwa spirit mwili tunaona imekufa lakini spirit yako haijaenda jua imetoroshwa ime, ime kabla time yake kufika so they were wajawi wanatumia spirit maybe kutomend people kufanya vitu zingine mbaya mm-hmm. so ilikuwa napata um, anakuita unakuja juu ya grave anakukata kucha maybe nywele to give them more power to do more hivyo so they likuwa nategea so kitegea hivi wakikuchua kabla arudi uh, umrudisha tena kwa grave hapo amekatakata hizo vitu wanakushika wanajua ndio li muroga na yeye ndio limua so they deal with you mm. yeah so kwa lakini kwa kibiblia eh hiyo principle kunaitwa necromancy mm. necromancy na watu wa time ya Moses walikuwa na practice you would call the spirit of the people who are dead and you use them to do some work mm. yeah it is something which existed even in the bible times so it is something which usually i used to work ni vile tu watu Ukristo imeingia watu sana Uislamu imeingia watu na modernization. Mm. Watu uh, don't want mtu ashakufa amekula pale. Mm. Lakini ukani murogi anajua chenye anafanya. Ako na mission. Anataka kufamilia familia yenu. Mm. Yes, so anachukua hiyo ana get more powers and and like gonga mwingine mwingine. Mm. Na mkirealize watu wamekufa wakifuatana mm. lazima kuitwa wazee waoshe. Cleans because mm. as kuna bad omen iko pale. Yeah. So uchawi iko inafanyika na watu walikuwa nakufa. Na unaweza shika wala ameua yeah. mkitaim vizuri. Okay. Yeah. Now. Mhm. Nikuulize. Uliza. From the tradition. Mhm. Methods of the dead funeral yes. to the modern way. Yes. Ni mila gani ye ya kambani ambayo unaona ikipotea? Um saa hii mm. mali tumefika saa hii. Sasa naona at least sasa kuna hiyo introduction ya kupeleka watu mochari. Hiyo mm. it's gone case. Hakuna hakuna mambo ya kuweka kwa nyumba, hakuna kuweka changalawe, mm. ni kuna kuweka mtu pale. You die, 
unabebwa unapeleka mochari you will take you the day of funeral mm-hmm. so number one, kuweka mtu kwa boma kulala kwa boma in ukambani that's a no yeah, it's not done mm-hmm. very few cases unless uh, like i know one one distant relative insisted that uh, he wanted to be buried the old traditional way mm-hmm. na akasema yeye lazima abebwe alala kwa boma mm-hmm. sisi kutakufa na pia akasema asichukishwe na ile mashini crane ya kushukisha mm-hmm. that's something which happened this year 2024 so ilibidi uh, ashukishwe na kamba the way we used to do Mm. that was his wish and it was granted to him mm. but uh, now many things is me badilika watu walikuwa naweka kitambo ito ni coffin na wanaweka mabati wanafunikia so saa hii some of those things uh, now after you know with this coffin that's one of the things which has been introduced mm. because of modernization issue of taking people to the mortuary is a, a new thing and it is also been embraced mm. we don't keep the bodies in the compound and we mtu amekufa so that's a dead person so we have nothing to do with the dead mm. is our relatives we loved you when you are alive and you are, we respect your life but uh, go rest in peace mm. we have nothing to do with the the death any the death person dead person mm. yeah because we lingering around the dead one you are trying to link yourself with the dead so sometimes we walikuwa na kusema wanakujiwa babu yako anakukujia wao anakuita vitu kama hizo ukiendelea kuota sana hivi kitambo this you say you used to go die, die next ukiona unashinda kuota na mtu alikufa mm. most probably ilikuwa inafanyika you die like the next person mm. anaita mtu mwingine aende kwa anasema kuna baridi sana oh, wow. yeah I fact you sometimes say this to give demands mm-hmm. and taka chinjio ngombe oh kuna baridi sana moto inawashwa karibu pale na grave mm-hmm. yeah maybe ama ndio maana yake mzee wa boma akwa naziko karibu mbali akwa naziko mm-hmm. karibu na boma mm-hmm. akipeleka mbali sana atakuwa anashinda asumbua mulipeleka mahali ni kama mlimdizon kama mpendi yeah mlimdizon kind of mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. na pia squeeze hiyo kamba wanazikana talangata huku mm-hmm. Nairobi hakukuwa na mambo ya so, kupeleka so, so in kamba community hawana hawana hizi ma tradition mobs za about and this komatanga zina mm. kuna zile zilikuwa deep before mm. ya yeah, saka kama ilikuwa nasema kama ni mwanamke bwana yake amekufa wanataka kutoa spirit sasa kulikuwa kuna mwanaume wa kuja kusafisha maneno rada na mm. ya yeah, mwanaume utambiko yes ya yeah, mwanaume this would be specific men ulikuja kulala tu na mama boma pale kuo mkitanda ile na kufunga ya ikawa fanyika no sasa inheritance you know see inheritance kufunika ile boma ni kwa part of cleansing si mama bwana amekufa yeah so kuna watu walikuwa wanatumika ku watu specific si kila mtu mm. alikuwa na watu fulani wazee fulani ukiwa kuna mazishi watu wanaitwa kani mama amekufa na mzee anakuja wanafanya hiyo ni kama kufunika boma hivi tu ama kuo mtu hivi kitanda kuo okay so hiyo ni kwa sex na bibi ya the deceased yes so hiyo ni the total cleansing is due alikuwa anataka ku achieve nini lakini hiyo ni kitu moja ilikuwa inafanyika Oh. na ilikuwa inafanyika across the Kamba region zizo karibu zote. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, after recent, <laughs> yeah, after recent uh, times. Yeah. yeah, kuna as specific walikuwa wanajulikana. Mm. Yeah. Wow, wow. Yes. Yeah, na si si kwa na jua kabisa. Yeah. Mm. So, but the Kamba culture is very rich especially in terms of uh, how they live mm. na mambo yao tokikufa. Yeah, it's very serious. That's like another culture. Yeah. Yeah. So they believe you go then uh, people will talk to the dead people. Mm. Uh, you believe your grandfather uh, who died maybe something needs you want to take it to protect you just the way people believe their angels or you're watching over us. Mm. Yeah, here iko. That's why now I'm going to kwambia mbeleni they will ni make beer kerubu and poor for their ancestors. Maybe there's no rain and ngombe zinakufa njanja. They will go and the poor alcohol blood or change and boozy and they leave that meat there mm. you could not carry or eat anything there and those were this once they agree and they do those things they used to live there when the rain is on them 
Yes. Et deux, 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 et ni kama sacrifice tu kama tamia kitambo walikuwa wanachomea mungu smoke inaenda mbinguni that's what they should do mm-hmm. yeah so then the ancestors maybe ndio wamekasirikia nyinyi you know maybe mmekuwa mwaigino sana ama amwape mnakula tu mnanona totoni wanaolewa sana amwape ka kitu so lazima wapata kasha zikao pia mm-hmm. ah zae na, na, na issue now mm-hmm. let me let me ask you yes about this the method of cremation sai mm-hmm. cremation yes <laughs> Does Kamba embrace this mutindo ya cremation? Cremation? Mm. Kwanza watu wakisikia tunataka kuchoma. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> moto, uweke moto. Eh. Mm, mwagi. Mwagi. Hapana. Hiyo yeah. sasa wanafikiria kwanza kama ni familia, kama sasa mimi. Mm. Even of my sibling anaweza sema ati oh, ati sijui nani. Is do one of parents at your family cremation? Mm. Now we are alive there. Mimi, I could not get to come here. When the doctor Babako Mungine, Ama Mamako Mungine, mm. Mashako Mungine, and the Uchome. Yeah. We don't believe that because you know, Nikaum to remember Kashetan in my payment at your Mego, Nikama and Dagia to make you go. So cremation uh, company is a very hard. Uh, I think to be accepted. Mm-hmm. But kwa wale watu wamemodernize wameka Nairobi wameka US wameka wapi? Wamekuwa influenced by the other communities around mm-hmm. there especially wazungu mm-hmm. wanakubali cremation. Aha. Mm-hmm. Now, hiyo cremation ziko wa kamba si yes. ile kamba community. Yeah. What about the casket? There is this mitindo mpya mpya zimekuja za casket. Mhm. And uh, in kama country kama Ghana unaona mm-hmm. makasket zinaanza kukuja za kila design yes how do kamba community take that mm-hmm. na which position u, before hata hii modern way ah. for the barren yeah uh, the to, take, mm, to take you very fast in the history of a uh, casket mm. number one from the blankets wrapping with the blankets number two mm. uh, it was uh, makoni 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 that is a uh, ile west yambao uh-huh. mbao ilikuwa inachukuliwa uh-huh. inapigwa tu misumari around ilikuwa inatengenezwa kwa boma hakukuwa na mamba atakwenda kununua sanduku uh-huh. there was nothing like a buying a coffin uh-huh. mnachukua mbao ile imekatwa in fact ile siku mtu amekufa na kuna mbao karibu mnaita ile mtu wa sizo wale wanashika huko mwingine kwa juu mwingine kwa chini tu ni kusukuma tu eh hey, you know wanakata ambao hiyo mbao hizo sasa za west huko kando you say mtu inaziko na inapigwa misumari sasa unaweza ukao uko pale tu unaweza uchungulia kakashimu tu unaona yeye jamaa ndio ile pale amedozi ndani ya sanduku because kuna shimo nafasi pale ni neko tivo mbao inaikelewa juu ya stool inazikwa mm. but ikafika nao fast moving forward kuna easy coffee not wana nunua sasa because mm-hmm. of uh, the market of the dead man business mm-hmm. now there is coffins easy classic iko ndani kona pamba iko na fiber you know mm-hmm. hata watu siku nyingine wanaweka hata nyingine inaweka mp3 iko ndani boss mm-hmm. eh mm-hmm. kama unapenda reggae ni mtu wa jala live pale vibaya sana na mungu redemption song mm-hmm. pale ndani to redemption song mm-hmm. you know na bomale na light vitu exactly mm-hmm. sasa ukanda ready Uone wendo karidimio huko mbele kama kama ni mtu wa gospel unaikiwa nyimbo pale za gospel send maybe mp3 ziko there are those coffins and bazi kwa hivyo so they have moved with the time yeah so coffin iko hivyo then you ask about uh, kuzikwa kuna watu walikuwa wanazikwa kitambo pia hata na in sitting position eh coffin hizo za madodo mengi sana ah zee sidani watakubali ati unaweka kama hizi mtu anakaa kama bike sijui na kaa nini some funny shapes uh, i think is just adopted sana mm. lakini maybe gen z wataleta hizo zianze kuwa accepted uh-huh. yeah so yeah lakini sasa ukambani pia mm. kuna mzee mmoja anasemekana eh, area za mboni alikufa na akasema ziko na kwa gari yake mm. na akaelewa kwa gari yake ilikuwa mzee alikuwa anaipenda sana lakini kwa shazeka ma sidi akazikwa zikwe nayo 
It's a story I saw in the social media recently. Yeah, oh. yeah then uh, Simba Shimo, Gary, ka peleko ile kitu kama ya kubeba gari za breakdown. Yeah, ika ika, ika iziwa in, maybe I think ilikuwa imekuwa free. Ikaingia kwa Shimo na kufunikiwa pale. Oh. Yeah, so uh, with that kind of uh, changes, maybe kamba za open to new ideas of the mm. uh, So kumaanisha kuna change inatokea mingi. Mingi sana. Ujenzi wa nasukuma pia. Oh. Na na pia tukianza niliona umetengeneza hapa rest mm. in peace anti. Yes, uh, this was uh, one of our mm. beloved anti. Mm. Yeah, so for me when uh, I have mm. funeral t-shirts eh, yeah. tuko na Mm. T-shirt is uh, what we have personal and relatives. Mm. I make it, I like it when it's permanent. So, and I keep them as memory as long so as the t-shirt you, stays. You are, you are a designer? Yeah. I'm a designer myself. Uh, I do design uh, and uh, branding. Uh, uh, yeah, and I saw tuna fanyea. Nyimu kitengeneza pale kwa mochari muna weka makeup na nini. Mm. Situ watengeneza programs. Uh, tuna print. Na pia tunatengeneza t-shirts This is modern day now Like mm. this is Akamba yeah. So Akamba pia tumenda modern way oh. So we mourn our people in different way mm. Sasa kama ni shoshua mekufa kwa mze T-shirt mm. zinakuwa the white Yeah so peace and uh, Tuna celebrate the life mm. Sasa kama walikuwa young uh, So obviously we wear dark To symbolize that we are sad And uh, it's a dark moment for the For the family mm. So t-shirts tuna part of the uh, it is a yeah. part of the morning. Oh. In a pia banners, which come my usual banners like this. Yeah, come by naive. Yeah, make a picture, make a message. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which come my usual. Yeah, so to maybe to show the people the picture. Yeah. Sababu in a company before, mm -hmm. uh, children never used to view the body of the and some people wale wanaogopa sana na huko wanaangalia mwili ya the deceased person so portrait watano picha kwa portrait na watu wengine sasa sikizo wanataka kuona the full picture of this person vile alikuwa anaka so naweka roll abana huyo mtu anaonekana vile na alikuwa anaka in real life Eh, when he was alive as a person I mama oh. so you can put a photo in a bama bana oh. wow. bana yeah okay. kuna zile so, bana za kuang na rola bana so yeah. mtu wote ambaye anataka printing na hizo mabana for yes. funeral for nini yes. they can contact you yeah they can but, contact you what that's part of up wake up kwa screen hapo chini kwa namba ya simu eh tupa namba ya simu yeah 07 and 0799 384. Yes, I've got John. John. Mulili, yes. Yeah. 07? 0799 uh. 697 uh. 084. 084. Yeah, okay. So okay. Number. Mm. 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 Shop, mm. uh, place where you can get us, mm. and the town up here, we need to put a caribuna Gariama Road somewhere there. Okay, to pick a simu, Gariama Road, Kama uh, Gariama Road. I think nowadays is a uh, Charles Rubia Road. Charles That's Rubia. where we do our printing. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. So, talk for you, just talk for you. Banners, mm. na programs, Zote. na all the collaterals you want for the funeral. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, ni mshukuru sana, and uh, najua atwezi maliza the kamba culture yote yes to end up process by process na yeah. najua tutafika thank yeah. you so much mr mulili for this time na tumeza kulan pia pale comment yes. hapo pia share yeah. na tuambie vile umesikia na j mulili amekueleza kitu mpya ambao uko unajua sivyo kama tume represent wa kamba vizuri hey. ama kuna vitu tumeacha ongeza hapo hey. then hey. ando amusi bwana mutisha hey. na anaweza tuita part b part b tuongeze ndio hiyo hey. thank you so much yes hey, na unajua kuna wa kamba pia hmm. kaitwa kamba kuwa kamba kuwa yes wako ni karagua hey. yes south america oh yes just like us wanapenda yellow hey. na vitu zetu zote <laughs> wana dance na sisi na viuno kubwa <laughs> <laughs> Ashukran kabisa. Yes. Uh, until next time. Pia tutakuja na mwingine mgeni pia. Tuambia hapo, comment hapo. Sivyo. Sure, let us learn from every community. Yeah. Yes. Hata wazungu nataka tusikie. Eh, mambo ya sivyo. Kabisa. Uh, so until that time. Thank you. For the team. Motion talk. Until next time.